Ah, dinky do everybody. A very good Saturday morning to you. It's just Scotty McClue here, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. I hope you're all well. I just wanted to pop up because um, I don't often get to speak to you at this end of the day. So we're in the morning and very often, as you all so well know, I'm talking to you in the evening. So there you are. And I wanted to talk to you about talking to you in the evening because uh, a week in a week's time one week to go uh, on friday night at 10 o'clock sharp i shall be broadcasting live on the scottish airwaves on 96.3 fm nation radio scotland very very important and i just wanted to make you all aware of that now you might well be those of you who are big facebook people will probably be aware of already good morning good morning everybody lovely to have you with us just a a quick Saturday morning pop-up, of course, just to keep everybody in the loop. Very important, excellent stuff. If you can come and join me just now, do. If you can share this broadcast, Nina Verico, good morning to you. Lovely to have you with us. I hope you are well. Excellent stuff. Uh, Scotty McClure, quick pop-up, Facebook Live, just for you to say next Friday night at 10 o'clock sharp, we'll be going live to Glasgow and West Central Scotland. Now, I'll speak to the big bosses and see if we can also do a bit of Facebook with that. A little bit of Facebook would be quite good. Excellent stuff. Susan Forrest, good morning to you. Excellent, Nino. Yes, big chat. Wonderful. So there we are. So that's what's happening. And I thought to myself, I need to tell people, my daughter, Alisa, was just asking about you and say hello, says Colin Roger. Hello, Alisa and Dinky Doo from me, Scotty McClue. Lisa Roger, dinky do I say. Stephen Menzies is watching a man who keeps the, na the, the railway network running. Excellent stuff. Good morning, pals. This is Thomas Hamilton. Good morning, Thomas. William McSporran, dinky do. Excellent stuff. So I hope you'll all join me if you're in West Central Scotland. But tune in to the radio station right now. It's 96.3 on the FM, and the music is absolutely outstanding. Once you put Nation Radio on, you won't bother changing again. So excellent stuff. Good morning, Scotty. This is Stephen McMahon. Morning, Stephen. Dinky do. Morning, Scotty. Says Susan Forrest in Lancashire. Dinky do. Smash it out the park, old chum. Says William McSporran. I will do my best, William. You know what I'm like. So there we are. Chit chat. Of course. Things have moved on a little bit and, you know, we might have to just walk a little bit more softly if you get my meaning, you know. <laughs> Tip you the wink. Derek Jimmy Walker, good morning. Excellent stuff. Lovely to have you all with me. And as I say, this is just a quick Saturday morning pop-up. I'm so often at the other end of the day, I thought I do want to pop up and say hi. Morning, Scotty, says Derek. Morning from Centre Parks, says William Hanna. Excellent, William. You are in Centre Parks. Shaky Live in Edinburgh. Come on the hearts, says Frank Walker. Frank Walker, you know we are not a football programme on here. Very, very naughty. There you go. Morning. Hope you're well and have a nice weekend for we June. June Porteous there. Thank you, June. Always appreciated. Already tuned. Great station, says William McSporran. It's excellent. And you can have it on anywhere, you know, driving around with it on. Fantastic. And I noticed last night I'd stopped to get some things and I could hear people listening in the window going, oh, I a new radio station. Wonderful. Uh, Custom McDougall, dinky do, Custom Dougal, I should say. Custom Dougal, good morning, good morning. The morning Scottish says, I've got 96.3 FM on, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Excellent, Thomas. Fantastic stuff. Tell 10 to tell 10. Can we just share this little broadcast right now just to let everybody know that we're up here and that we're on? Excellent stuff. Mark Andrews is watching. Mark Andrews, dinky do. And thank you for all your wonderful support. In fact, thank you to every single one of you, every mother's son and daughter, for all your support for Scotty McClure over the years, not just right now, but over many, many years. So excellent stuff. 
when people thought, oh, 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 he's a bit, you know, oh, 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 all that kind of nonsense. And of course, I felt that radio effectively lost its soul. It lost its spirit. It kind of just shriveled away into becoming purely a jukebox. And here again, radio is being renewed. A renaissance. It's wonderful. Shaky Live, yes, excellent stuff. Frank Walker. Uh, morning, big man. Hope you're well, says Rab Hill. Dinky do, Rab. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. I'm just going to do a little bit of sharing. Can you join me and do the same? And we'll just share this. We'll just see it live now. Wonderful stuff. Right. Um, who else have we got here? Good morning, sir, from Nottingham, says Patrick Paracollins. Good morning, Patrick, in Nottingham. This is the beauty about global broadcasting. I have learned and enjoyed so much through these Facebook Live broadcasts. As I say, well over two and a half million. I think we're getting on for 2.75 million now have watched Scotty McClure's Facebook broadcasts. That's how big it is. And have watched from all over the world, India, Africa, Canada, America, doesn't matter where you are. If you're on Facebook, you can see Scotty McClure. So we'll not be giving up the Facebook broadcast, guys, just to let you know the bosses are absolutely fine with that because I did ask. See, I look after you guys. So we'll be doing the pop-ups. Armadale's listening, Scotty, says John Smith. Dinky do, John. Lovely to have you with us. Let's do another share. I'm going to share to a page and just let everybody know that we're live right now. Hello, Stuart Graham says hello. Hello, Stuart. Lovely to have you with us. Right, we're on the page here. I'm on it. I'm on it. And uh, we'll just put live now. I've got to type. You must excuse me a wee second. L I V E N O W. Is that, have I done that right? L I V E, wait a wee second. This thing's slightly slower. There we are. Um, L I V E. E-N-O-W. Live. Now, good. That's done that. Sorry, I'm just having a wee kick round you here. And um, that's us. And we're sharing to that page. And that will just let everybody know that we are live now. If you can all share as well. Lindsay McBean, Shirley Cooper. St. Andrews says hello. Says Francis Little. Francis Little. I am a massive fan of St. Andrews, as you well know. I remember being uh, uh, getting a part in a video about St. Andrews, the home of golf. So there you are. Wonderful. So that's excellent stuff. We'll see if we can get that for you. Berta King Pat is watching Dinky Do. Gary Crossan, come and join us, I say. Scotty McClure is live on a Saturday morning. Uh, Derek says, I've spoken to Sharice. So funny it was. Of course it would be. Very, very clever and funny lady. Absolutely fantastic, Derek. That's what we want. If you've just joined us, a warm welcome. If you wonder what's popped up on your Facebook page, it's Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet, saying a very good Saturday morning to every single one of you, wherever you are in the globe. So do come and see me. John Wilson, morning, Scotty. He's seven foot and please, now, John Wilson, come on. This is grow up time. This is a, a big person's program. You know what I mean? Uh, get the curtains opened, says Stuart Graham. <laughs> Absolutely. The curtains are opened. I'll tell you what I've got to go to today. A bracket has broken on my curtain rail. And I went to a well-known superstore last night and they'd never heard of it. So there you go. So I need to know if I can still get the bracket. In fact, I should have brought it up so you could see it. Get the buckets done, Scotty McClure. I know we're washing the windies. We're at the high dusting. Oh, the high Scots is Ned McMillan. John Wilson. Hey, <laughs> absolutely, John Wilson. Grow up time, I say. This is for mature people who are full of nonsense. Um, you're a main man and a legend worldwide, says Frank Walker. I am Frank, and I thank you for that. 
Appreciated. Looking forward to hearing you on mainstream radio again, says Andy Taylor. Good luck, Scotty. Thank you, Andy, and very, very good luck to all of you. Morning, John Adams, says Derek. Hello, Scotty, says Ned McMillan. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. Saturday morning, nothing gets past me. So there you go. Now, I hope you'll all join me tomorrow night, Sunday night, at 9 o'clock sharp, live here on Facebook Live, very important. And uh, they're having a conversation themselves. Get the frying pan on, Scotty. Two rolls and square with black pudding, says Frank McCallum. Now, is it square or is it long? You see? Very important. I think we'll discuss this when I go back on the wireless because we need to get to the bottom of a lot of issues that have been sadly neglected over the last 15 years. There we are. Morning, everyone. Have a good day, says Thomas Hamilton. Absolutely, Thomas. Lovely to have you with us, and you have a good day as well. Is there football on this afternoon? Are you all going out to the game, out to the match? I know we don't discuss it, but I just wondered if you're all going there. Got you on Google Nation Radio. Uh, it says Derek, Jimmy Walker, excellent. Nation Radio Scotland is the new radio station, and it just wipes the floor with everything else. Fantastic. Absolutely. That's why I've joined it, because it's outstanding. The music is outstanding. You can have it on all the time, anytime. I could kill for some decent haggis right now. Breakfast isn't the same down in the Midlands, says uh, Dave Harley. Uh, what was that one? And links are good, says Stuart. Fantastic. There we go. Back we go, guys. Come on. Oh, camera. What have you done? There we are. Continue. Excellent stuff. Need to move the camera around, guys. Sorry about that. I tapped the screen and lost you there. That's what happened. It's slice sausage, Sir John. I went to a builder's match yesterday. The guy said, hello, sir, would you like decking? Thank God I got the first punch in. <laughs> Good one, Rob. Ah, he, he. Don't try that at home now, folks. That was for entertainment purposes only. Very good. Uh, steak square, Scotty, and a tatty scone. Yum, yum, says Yvonne Hogg. Excellent, Yvonne. Yvonne, I don't know where you're based, but I hope you'll join us live on the radio this coming Friday night. Woo, squeaky time for Scotty. Yes, so there we are. So uh, Friday night. 10 o'clock sharp, 96.3 FM. Excellent stuff. Uh, Rab, you heard that in another station, says John Adams. Well, we don't know. There we go. Uh, an egg, Scotty, fried, scrambled, or boiled, says the wonderful Frank Walker. Wonderful stuff. I agree with you, Dave. It's not the same. So there you are. Right, Derek, what's not the same? You guys are having your own. Geraldo Silva, Luciana Silva. Geraldo and Luciana, dinky do. My friend from East Coast Pride is going through an operation on her legs. Wish her well, Scotty. So Stephen Duffin, if it doesn't work, she might end up getting it amputated. So I hope it's a success. We give her strength and thumbs up from Scotty McClure and the whole crew right across the world. Remember, if you're on here getting a mention, the whole world hears it. Excellent stuff. Will do, Scotty, says Yvonne Hogg. Excellent stuff. The hat looks great, says Marcus. I know we had a lighting challenge the other night. You'll see on one of the videos. And the lights were so bright, you could barely see the checks. Do you like the checks? I think that's fantastic. So there you are. Um, Patsy's out, Scotty boy, says Owen Kerr. Where is she? So there you are. You'll have to tell us. Excellent stuff. Right. Good Lord, says Stuart Graham. I know. Amazing, isn't it? It's just me, though. It's not the good Lord. It's Scotty McClure. It's the first Lord of the Internet and the world's top broadcaster saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. I'm going to share again to another group. Are you guys going to share Saturday morning? Nothing gets past me. Share to a page. Wonderful. In fact, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll share to a group. There we go. Wonderful. What have we got here? Share to a group. We'll share to the Scotty McClue fan group and let them know. Say hello to Penny Cars, Scotty. So there we are. Uh, good Lord, oh. Good Lord, oh. Wonderful stuff, right? I'm going to share to a group here, guys. Let's share to the Scotty McClue group first. 
I can't see because of the bright lights. That's why, if I look as if I'm peering, it's because the lights are so blooming bright. There we are. Just share to that group. And we will type in live now, eh? How about that? I think that's only fair. So, capitals on, and we'll put in live. No, I'll have to get organized for next week so that uh, we've got this. Maybe the lovable lassie of the big switchboard will be typing all that for me. Save old McClue uh, getting the fingers on to the typing. Um, Stephen McFarlane, dinky do. So excellent stuff. Oh, that's going out, guys. That's definitely, that's what I call a share. And we'll have another share up the top as well. Can everybody share, 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 share? Derek says, Scottish breakfast here. So he's going down to a well-known shop for the stuff. The Scotch pies are cool here. Are they McClue's pies? Always say aye to a McClue's pie. <laughs> so there you go. Very, very important. Excellent stuff. Uh, who else have we got? Charlie Subaqueous. Dinky do a very good Saturday morning to you. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. There, I shared to a group for you. Thanks for the well wishes for my friend Lisa, says Stephen Duffin. Not at all, Stephen. That's why we're here. People need to realize Scotty McClure is the catalyst between you and the world. Dinky do. Excellent stuff. That's what it's all about. There's not enough proper entertainment out there for you. That's what it's about. Yes, people who genuinely care. And this is the wonderful thing about 96.3 FM. 96.3 FM. That's the frequency for Nation Radio Scotland. And in six days' time, Friday the 28th, McClure will be live at 10 o'clock sharp. Oh, you better all come and join me, or there will be a problem. I will be having a word. It'll be a lifetime ban. Oh, we don't want that. Uh, do you know, the other night on the programme... We actually banned, I think, about seven people for cheeking up. Custom Dougal says, love a Scots pie with potatoes and beans on top, the savoury pie. Yes, my local bakers used to always do a wonderful, wonderful savoury pie with their uh, piped potato. Looked lovely piped. Hey, everybody. And um, the beans, the beans on the top. So there we go. Um, and, uh, of course, beans are very good for the heart, and the more you eat, the more you enjoy them. So there we are. Uh, hi, Elaine Barr, says Yvonne Hogg. Dinky do, Elaine. Uh, Scotty, you can take over from Parkinson on the telly. Absolutely. I used to love Parkinson. Do you remember everybody used to go home on a Saturday night? They'd be in the bar and go, well, that's me going up the road now. Parky's on, because he always had huge stars on, like David Niven or Richard Burton, or Billy Connolly, all that sort of thing. You had these great stars on. And you had Fred Astaire, you know, massive, massive stars. Uh, Kirsten, now you're talking love and tried them, says Derek. So there you are. Uh, yes, I think Scotty McClure has got a huge future in television and radio, even with a coupon such as this. Do you know what I mean? Love Park is a Stuart name. I know. Do you remember Stuart though? Do you remember dashing home to see him? Do you remember when he had um, he had Emu on? The Rod Hull and Emu. <laughs> oh my goodness stuff. Fantastic. Glad you're going on to the radio. 96.3 says Nino Varico. I thank you, Nino. Very much appreciated. You and I go back a long way. Uh, God bless um, old Billy C. He's not so good these days. Billy Connolly, no, sadly. Yes, lovely, lovely guy. Funny, 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 clever man. So there you are. Um, and I do hope we can send him some strength. He may even be watching the pop-up. You never know. Steak pie and lasagna pies, you'll get this. All over the place, whether he's in Scotland or London or Los Angeles, it doesn't matter. Everybody can watch Scotty McClue when we pop up. Steak pie and lasagna pies. Now, I have tried a lasagna pie, a macaroni pie. Very nice. I'll tell you what else I've had. 
Has any of you ever had a haggis pie? Have any of you, I should say, ever had a haggis pie? Tell me about that one. Excellent stuff. Morning, Sir Sammy Stewart. Morning, Sammy. There you are. Um, if you've got to face McLean first thing in the morning, this is what you get. You know what I mean? Uh, we certainly do. We'll enjoy your program whilst driving around, says Nino. Excellent stuff, Nino. And uh, you know how to drive. You always drive something very swish. Um, from Legend Parky, um, <laughs> Frank McCallum, <laughs> he's got on about another great show. So there we are. Not too loud, Scotty. I've got a sore head, says Charles McLachlan. Okay, we'll be nice and quiet. Do you remember the movie in the Gentleman's Club and the cat went past? The cat went past in a London Gentleman's Club and the guy, I can't remember which movie it was in, he goes, he calls the club um, butler over and he says, um, must we have that animal stamping its feet round here at this time in the morning? <laughs> He'd got a wee hang, you know. So there are, oh, thank you, says Nino. Not at all, Nino. An absolute privilege, my dear fellow. Dave McCann's watching. Dave McCann, dinky do wave to you. I'm not going to start touching the screen because it turned the camera around the last time and we ended up looking at the um, at the computer screen. <laughs> All that sort of thing. Um, who else have we got? Your ha yes, haggis pie, says Kirsten Dougal. Now, have you tried it, Kirsten? I don't know if it's a regular thing. One of my friends, I, I sometimes get invited to a dinner and the staff prepare everything for the dinner. So you're not having anything bought in. It's all made, baked, cooked on the premises. And they very often do as a starter, a haggis pie. Because that's the Scots for you, you know. Square sausage and a Scotch roll with brown sauce. Stop it, Derek Jimmy Walker. Just stop it, or we'll all want one. <laughs> so there you go. So that's what's happening there. George McNeil's watching. Dinky do, George. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, I say. Can everybody share this broadcast right now? Oh, Scotty, I feel rough. You've put R-U-F-F. I say to my dog, how do you feel? He goes, rough. Um, I'll get my account on here and share you a 69K Page, give me a second. Thank you. That is wonderful. Who do I thank for that? Um, who do I thank for that? Stephen Duffin. Fantastic. 69,000 watchers. Fantastic. There we are. Uh, Sammy Stewart. Haggis, pigs and blankies. <laughs> very, very nice. David Rutherford's watching. A very good morning to you, Davey. Good morning to you all. If you've just joined us and you're wondering what's happening to your Facebook page, it's just a quick pop-up from me, Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. A privilege to meet you all, I say. And if you can get sharing, that's even better because these programs depend upon the sharing. The reason 2.75 million of you have watched Scotty McClue's pop-ups is because we all share. We have the right spirit for sharing. We're doing it. Properly. Proper broadcasting. That's what it's about. And uh, it's wonderful to be back on the radio, of course. I mean, I I know, I know all the internal workings and the politics of the radio. And I should never, ever, ever have had to take um, a wee sabbatical from the radio because it was nothing to do with anything I did or said. The problem was the audience was just so big that all the others were starting to get panicky because some of them had been around for 20 years. McClure rolls up, couple of years, same audience, quarter of a million every half hour. Woo! So that causes a stishy in the marketplace, as you can guess. So there you are. And uh, the advertisers are all clamoring to get on the Scotty McClure show. So there you go. And of course, it causes a bit of a panic to all your existing people. You know, that kind of idea. So there we go. I don't mind. Whoever has McClure has the market, as somebody once said. So there you are. 
Fantastic stuff. Whoever has McClure has the market. And I can remember the wonderful story about the media mogul, media mogul or mogul, right? Mogul or mogul. Um, and his programmer said to him, can we afford to have Scotty McClure? And he said, can we afford not to have Scotty McClure? So there you are. So it's wonderful. So thank you to the big bosses at Nation Radio. Tremendous stuff. Great foresight, great thinking, and it's wonderful for Scotty McClure to be back on the radio just for you, saying dinky-doo. But those of you who are in love with my coupon, <laughs> do not panic, because we'll still be doing the pop-ups on Facebook. I've cleared that as well. Morning, Scotty. Say hello, dinky-doo. Lovely to have you all with us. Right, come on, you're all on here, and I'm missing you. Haggis Pecora is the future, says Frank McCallum. See you later, big man. I'm off. Take care. Cheers, Rab. Good morning. Happy weekend to you all, says Chenille Murphy. So true, Scotty. Glad you're back on radio. Noses out of joints, says Sammy Stewart. Big time. McClure's audience, boom, you know, quarter of a million per half hour. Other radio stations just panic set in. You know, it's wonderful. We're down in Blackpool for the weekend, says Amanda McCrimmon. Amanda, did you check if you're of the great piping McCrimmons? Porridge today with a pinch of salt, says Derek. Derek, now tell me about this. What's the story with salt in the porridge? Does anybody else put salt in their porridge? There was a wonderful, wonderful man. I knew him, called Angus McVicker. And he lived in South End just down on the Mullofkin Tire, round the corner from Campbelltown. And Angus lived there. The McVickers had, um, the, their father had been the minister at St. Bland's Church uh, in the Mullofkin Tire at South End. Wonderful. He was a wonderful man. There's documentary film of this wonderful man, Angus John McVicker. Anyway, this was Angus, his son, who died about... It'd be, it'd be around about 100 now or something like that, I would say. Um, maybe even maybe even a wee bit more, actually. It might even have been 105, 110. I'd have to work out. He'd be 110. And he made just uh, the other side of 90. So there you are. Angus would be 110 now, but he's a lovely, lovely man. Uh, need lighting. Look at your conk. It's giving me a shadow. Salt and sugar. Yes, great way to make porridge. No sugar. My mum did it all the time. She was Irish, says Chanel Murphy. I love sugar and porridge, says Kirsten McDougall. Apparently, anyway, the story I was going to tell you, Angus McIntyre was a, was a very famous author, and he brought out some brilliant books, and one of them was Salt in My Porridge. So there you are. A West Highland family with salt in their porridge. So what about that? See, you see, you never get a dull moment with McClure, do you? A wee bit of information goes a long way. So see if you can ever get a copy of Angus McVicker's Salt in My Porridge. And then another one was Golf in My Galaxies. He was a great golfer as well. But he wrote thrillers and, um, you know, sort of um, space age stuff and all that as well. Fantastic. Angus McVicker. Look him up. Um, Chanel Murphy, share. Everybody share, 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 share. Everybody share. Everybody share. That's how he lived so long, says Stuart Graham. Salt and his porridge. Absolutely. There was a big family of them. They're lovely, lovely, lovely people. Uh, make portage now, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Portage or portage or porridge. I think, Thomas Hamilton, what you're saying and your predictive text has changed it all is that you're making porridge now. Am I correct? Charlie Subaqueous, salt and water, milk and top. What about a spoonful of honey in it? Cinnamon is nice with runny honey, says Sammy Stewart. Fantastic. Ian Roach is watching. Hello, Ian. Dinky do come and join us. Uh, Nino says, Nino Verico, my father, a doctor, always took salt with porridge every day. Well, the doctor knows best and a bit of salt. I think we're a bit harsh on salt. He died when he was almost 97, says Nino. <laughs> well, I think we'll go with him, Nino. Perfect. 
Ahem. Salt and porridge with a wee whiskey in the winter, says Frank McCann. We bit early. People usually have porridge in the morning. Yes, yes, says Thomas Hamilton, yes. Have you had your teeth whitened, Scotty? Hollywood Smile asks Amanda McClimmon, no. Natural, there we are. I will take them out for you. Actually, you hate my teeth. Now I'm going to put them back in. That's me with my teeth. Excellent stuff. Replying to Nino. Morning, Nino. So, Sylvia, witchy toots, balance lay. All right, witchy toots. <clears throat> and uh, Michael Peverell is watching. Welcome, welcome. I throw it over my shoulder, says Derek, for good luck. Mine's syrup. Ye dram, says Stuart Graham. A dram. Nino says, hi, Sylvia. Excellent stuff. Lovely to have you all with us. One more share, guys. One more quick share. There's Catherine Scally watching. Dinky you do, Catherine? Lovely to have you with us. One more share, and then we can uh, push off. Um, replying, it's a small world. Oh, it's a tiny world. The world of Scotty McClure is massive in terms of reach and share and numbers, but tiny in terms of people that know each other. Wonderful. I just realized I can't share your live feed onto a like page. Only a group. I have a 69k like page. Well, I'll copy the like, the link and post it your way. All the best with your radio show. I thank you very much. That comes from the wonderful Stephen Duffin. How do you feel about Brexit, Scotty? If I'm absolutely honest, and as you know, I'm no political animal, but I think it's time for somebody to step up to the plate, show leadership and cancel Brexit or put it on hold, say, we are not leaving the EU until we've sorted all this out. All right? We're looking at leaving the EU because just over half of the British people, yeah, and remember Britain isn't a country, right? Britain is four countries, okay? So it's a land mass. But... The Westminster lot, I would say, common sense has to kick in here, all right? Put it on hold and say, we are going to change our date if we are leaving. But we won't leave until we get the deal that's right for Britain and the British people, okay? Otherwise, what's going to happen? Scotland will go alone, yeah? And so will Wales, Northern Ireland, Whole thing falls apart, so there you are. And I think that's what it's to do with, and it's negotiating with Europe. Or you rescind Article 50 and say, just to let you know we're staying, because it puts us in a very, very powerful position, we could then negotiate a much better deal within Europe. That's my thinking. But as I say, I am not a political animal. I'm only applying common sense and a lot of knowledge gleaned over 45, 50 years. People are voting without even knowing what they're talking about. That's the problem, Sir Stephen. You're so right, Scott. Are you fed up with all the indecisive nonsense that's going on? Absolutely, Nino, but just say, look, here's what's happening. We will be seriously looking at leaving the EU if that's really what the British people want when they're not being sold duff gen. All right, when we're getting all the facts. But if the facts and figures don't stack up, we will not be leaving. And we did put a date on it. We're now going to withdraw that date and we will leave or not leave when it suits, when everything is sorted out and we know what's best for our country. Scotty, just made some toast. Would you like a wee bit, says my here? Rant over, by the way, guys, as I say, I am no politician. I am not that bothered, but I do study economics. I study politics. I study all these things, and I think, let's get a bit of common sense here. 
You should be a political animal, Sir Susan Forrest. <laughs> oh, I think they've got enough of them. Morning, Scotty, says Maggie Burroughs. Makes perfect sense, says Nino. Nino, it's just good old Scottish common sense, and nobody knows that better than your good self. So there you are. That's what we're talking about there. Excellent stuff. Uh, Scotty McClure, if you've just joined us, capital S, small c, O double T I E, that's the Scotty, the McClure capital M, small c, capital C L U E. And uh, just to let you know, you're the people's voice, Scotty, says Andy Hughes. Well, there we are, Andy, but the people are their own voice. Scotty McClure is purely a medium, a catalyst. Well, I'm actually a large, but don't tell anybody. Um, I'm heading for the hot tub. So there we are. <laughs> Oot the dugs are what, so I'll get peace. So Sammy, you get yourself in there, but just check your pH balance in the hot tub, apparently. Lol, thank you, says Nino. Not at all, Nino. An absolute pleasure and a privilege, sir, I tell you. D. Gourley, dinky do the thumbs up from D. Fantastic. Right, it's time I wasn't here. It's time Scotty McClure pushed off. Scotty, what are you doing today? A wee bit of shopping, says McKeer. No, I'm going out to look. One of my curtain rails snap, just age. And the wee plastic brackets, you know, the wee kind of right angle brackets. I don't know if I get them anymore. Good morning to you, says D. Gourley. And to you, D. Fantastic stuff. I should maybe go and get the bracket and show it to you and let you see what you think. Will I still get it? But you know what I mean? It's, it, they just snap. And then, of course, the one beside it snaps because there's extra weight on it. Respect, Scotty, says Andy Hughes. And to you, Andy. Later, Scotty, says Stephen Duffin. Cloudy in Rochester, down in Kent. You've got to have the heating on at night. You know, I don't just on, on cost... I don't get to put the heating on till about. The best I've managed is the 29th of November. But, um, you know, it's a bit tempting at the moment. You know, that sort of thing. Show me out, Scotty, says McHare. It's a wee bracket, McHare. I don't think I have it. I was sitting last night watching some late night telly, and um, I thought, why am I getting this? My backside sounds as if something jaggy. And, of course, I put it in my back pocket. I was sitting on it. Um, so there we are. Ikea do them in packs of two. So Sylvia, which she toots balancing. So right, so I couldn't get two. It's the wee old brackets that sort of open up. You unscrew and you put the, the track in them and then tighten them up. Does that. Well, they're nice and shots today, says Andy Hughes. I'll probably have some spare ones for my rental business. Messenger me a picture, says Nino. Thank you, Nino. Excellent stuff. I wouldn't like to bother you with it. I wouldn't like to trouble you. So there we are. But um, I'm sure somebody will do them. Do you remember? This is what we're missing. And this, I think, was a Scottish and North of England thing. You went into a shop called the Iron Mongers. And they had... It was usually quite a small shop. It wasn't necessarily a big shop. And you went up to the counter and there was a guy with maybe a grey or a brown overall and a pencil behind his ear. And he went, can I help you? And you went, <laughs> you went like this. You went, would you have one of these? And he took it off you, right? He would take it off you. And he would go like this. I, I, these are scarcer than hen's teeth, son. I haven't seen one of these for years. Um, give me a minute. And he would come back with it. <laughs> it was all that. They broke the mold when they made you, says McHare. I thank you, McHare. <laughs> no wonder they broke the mold, eh? Say hello to Thomas Cochran, dinky do. I thought you meant for a pole. If it's the track, wait a minute. Uh, the sh hardware shop should have them. Thank you, Neil Kimming. It's not the track. It's, well, it's the, it's the bracket that holds the track up to the little wooden bar above the window. So there we are. And uh, excellent stuff at McClue Towers. So there we go. And we don't want the whole thing to break. Neil Tipping, dinky doing. Of course, when you take the curtains down, you then think, do you know, I think they could do with a wee wash or maybe 
What, what's the label in them? I'll maybe pop them in. So that happens as well. Four candles, says Stephen Duffin. Yes, it's four candles. And I remember going into one in East Lothian. It was tremendous. Uh, no trouble. If you can't get them, Neil's and the Barrows sell these things. And if not, tell me. Thank you, Nino. Very much appreciated. Nino Verico there. What I was going to say to you, um, into the old Ann Mungers, and up above, I noticed he had galvanised buckets. This was a cottage I went to in East Lothian when I went to Scott FM. And um, anyway, he climbs up a stair. I said, he said, can I help you? I said, could I um, purchase one of your galvanised buckets? It's for coal for the fire. And he went, uh, yes, yes. So he gets the ladder and he comes down and he says, wait for it, guys. This is a brilliant line. He goes, I'll take the label off just in case you're giving it to somebody as a present. <laughs> Do you remember they used to say that to jobs? Do you want me to take the label off as a present for somebody? Oh, yes. And could you wrap it? So there we go. It was wonderful stuff. Remember being in a in a, a very famous shop in London, and I was buying some things, and it was full of American tourists, and they were shoving it into a big plastic bag, and this was for my mother. And I said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry to to, to um, interrupt you. Yes, uh, Ian Martin, Nation Radio, 10 p.m. Friday, Ian. Spot on, la. So there we are. Ha ha, so Stephen Duffin, absolutely. So anyway, they were shoving it into a poly bag, and I said, excuse me. And uh, I asked for four candles. <laughs> and um, I said, could you by any chance gift wrap these things for me? And she went, in our own paper, sir. I said, oh, yes, if you have your own paper, that would be lovely. Anyway, long story short, this woman was an absolute craftsperson. She got the, the paper with the name of the shop on it, right? It was a shop in Piccadilly. And she wrapped everything beautifully. She then took scissors and made little bows and little springy bits out of their own blue string. So I had these lovely striped packages and the address of the shop was in one of the quarters, one of the squares at the top. So there we are. We are staying in today, a miracle, as the wife shops. She only shops. If you give her your card, if you go, I don't know what's happened to that card. <laughs> no, don't say that. That's <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Just tell the truth. I tell the missus the truth because they know anyway. That's what we were saying the other night. The two Ronnie sketch was a classic, says Stephen Duffin. It was brilliant. And that's what we need. We need a lot more comedy on our television and radio. Do you know what I mean? You know that stuff they go, tonight serious drama, so and so gets shot and all that. And you think, no, no, let's have serious comedy. Never mind the drama. We'll cope, you know, excellent stuff. Right, it's time I wasn't here, guys. I need to push off. Lovely, lovely, lovely being with you. Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Have a fabulous Saturday. Join me tomorrow night at 9 o'clock sharp right here on Facebook Live. And tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotland's top radio station is already on and broadcasting on 96.3 on the FM. So there we are. Thanks, Thomas, James Cotters, Dinky Doo, Anne Marie Cron, Thomas Hamilton, to all of you. Dinky Doo!